This episode of Fragbox TV is brought to you by the world's most beautiful nano reef tanks. Start your reefing adventure at reefcasa.com. What is going on, my reefing fam? Our cheer. This is the TV that is Fragbox. Welcome back to the channel. Okay, what are we going to talk about today? I want to do a little walkthrough. I want to show you what is going on in the tanks, what is new, what is happening, what is popping. This tank over here, it's looking a little funky. Tia, why'd you go through the sand? Anyways, she'll come back and tell me. Um, it's just looking a little murky. It was looking good like 10 minutes ago. And now our little flat six is all sandy. Okay, so we got some new corals in. We got a nice uh, Australian shipment. And then, not even a week after, a Indonesian shipment, lots of Acropora. So typically, Acro, we're talking hard coral, a little bit more advanced, a little bit harder to keep, stronger light, more flow, Radeon. G6, blue, XR30, love them, three of them. Look at the coverage on this tank. Okay, so a nice assortment, nice collection. Uh, really overall pretty healthy, not too many DOAs. If there's something that jumps out of you, out of you, sorry, out at you in the video, you can always screenshot it and then just let me know or maybe we can uh, send it your way. These NEMS have just got uploaded to the site, some bubble tips, but they're kind of missing the bubbles, look. There are bubble tips, there's one hanging out right there. They're pretty funky and somebody just traded us a, I think a, a bucket just full. They're doing so well for him. I have them on the site, they're half off right now. These ones here. I have them listed for 75 Canadian buckaroos, which works out to be like, I wanna say, I don't know, 50 bucks US, 49 something something. This blonde naso, so happy with the addition of this fish. He's doing a fantastic job. I don't think this tank has ever been cleaner um, these two right here, these are the real powerhouses. Him especially, actually, that fox face, and they're super friendly. Check this out, come. You guys wanna say hi to dad? No, 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 can I touch you? Yeah, sometimes, if they're in a good mood, the fox face will come, oh, gotcha, ha ha ha. Fox face will eat right out of your hand. Uh, most of them, actually, will eat right out of your hand. So, they're looking really good. We slowly started fragging them up. These little numbers correspond on our site. Some of them are on sale for like $10. These ones here, this kind of blue, I think we call them blue fission right now. But these are just going to get better and better and better over time. So I always tell you guys, like, they're going to color up. This is not the final color. I don't know if you saw the video, but this was, like, quite bleached when it came in. Check out the red polyps that are starting to come through on there. Kind of like a bluish sort of base. There's a lot of acro. Actually, it's, it's a little bit overwhelming, even for me. It's like every time I shoot a video, this girl's going to buy toilet paper. <laughs> every time. That is how we do here. Unscripted, and we keep our butts clean. If you didn't know, uh, toilet paper in Venezuela is a hot commodity. You should Google that. It's a real deal. Um, some companies or some people in the military actually get paid bonuses in toilet paper. That is how kind of... Yeah, it's real. Yeah, that country has a lot of problems. Yeah, going... going I went down the YouTube um, hole of Venezuela economy and social problems and that's what I watch on YouTube because I'm making coral content. No, I watch other channels too. Actually, there's only one I really, really follow um, and that's Tidal Gardens. And then there's a couple other actually in there. But um, let me show you some of the LPS. Okay, I'll start with the best. Come over here. Come with me. Take my hand. Walk with me and I will show you a torch that will hurt your eyes. It is so yellow. It doesn't have a name. I think some people call it Tiger. Tiger Banana. Tiger, Banana Muncher, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm kind of over the torch names. I can't keep up with them, like, I don't know what this is, but hello. Also, very, very nice. This was the first time I ordered with this supplier. I'm really impressed with the, the way he shipped them, the selection, the overall health. This is something I've never seen before. Mixed Rhodactis Mushroom Rocks. So I'm actually about to take a photo of this right after I'm done talking to you. I'm gonna put them up on the site and you get, it looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, maybe it's about 10 different types. This is some Acan Encanada, which is a very funky species. A little bit aggressive, actually. Retract, rewind, very aggressive. Can't touch any other Acans, but absolutely stunning coral. Oh man, there's even more. I didn't realize this guy brought so many anemones. Maybe we should give one away for free. Comment below. You gotta be a subscriber. Come on, how are we gonna give you one? Name it. Let's give this funky little anemone a name. And if you live in Canada and I like the name that you picked, I'm gonna send you one free of charge in the mail right to your door. That's what you get for watching Fragbox TV. Check out these hammers. 
free coral, man. That's pretty awesome. We're a pretty cool channel, huh? Give me a thumbs up. Um, funky, different, tricolor, almost blue. I'm always trying to like avoid describing colors in the photos when you see them go on the site because I'm a little colorblind and the camera doesn't always pick up the color precisely. That is a pretty cool hammer though. So I try to avoid saying colors, but this is really on the blue spectrum here. This guy is afraid of my dog. Look. You can come in, Mr. Pure Later. He won't bite, don't worry. That Pure Later guy is actually the best. Really, really nice dude. Okay, let's keep going through. Elegance, finally open, looking really nice. Look at this one over here, beautiful polyp extension. Very nice contrast. This clownfish is in heaven. He just hosts absolutely everything. What is that sound? Oh my goodness, sir. The Macan GTS is pulling up. I hope you're coming in here. Mr. Moneybags, that is quite the truck. Lots of power. If you guys don't know, most of the guys that work here, we're all car nuts. And um, yeah, I'm not gonna talk about my stolen car anymore. Uh, Mosele, look at this, quite a rare coral. Not super colorful like some of the scolies that we have right now. Scoli, 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 but really funky. I think sometimes they call it moon coral. Some really nice lobos that are in stock. Lobophilia, again, aggressive but worth it, you just gotta give them some space. They're beautiful. Um, if you want non-aggressive, super easy and fast growing, here is a very cool, I think it's a simularia. I'm gonna wait for Tia to come back up and then maybe she'll tell me otherwise. But I would uh, I would bet it's a simularia. Plate corals are looking really nice. I don't have trouble keeping these. So a lot of people I hear say, um, difficult to keep kind of on the harder spectrum of LPS. I would have to disagree with them. I've really had no issues, but again, every hobbyist, Every reef tank is different. Hey, how's it going? So, so you never know. Some cabbage coral. Again, not super colorful. But I love cabbage coral. I wish I could offer some more of this. It's one of the most popular ones here in the store. It's a vibrant green one. But I don't know what's wrong with this thing. It does not grow and it does not like to get fragged. Every time I make a frag, it doesn't survive. It doesn't want to mount. It doesn't, it doesn't anything. It's just a very elusive piece that lives in the corner of our Red Sea Reef for 250. Yes, we have blades, AI, the Neptune sky is gone. And I am very, very impressed with them. But we'll do, a, we'll do an update later. I'll give them a little bit more time. But so far, AI blades, yes, I can say thumbs up. Definitely, definitely a great light. Not disappoint at all. Okay, I'm seeing some stuff over here on the other side. I wanna show you some weird stuff. This is a, sometimes called maize brain. But the Latin name is platygyra. And in my experience, it's gonna get really red. It's gonna change a lot. It's kinda of got a brownish tone right now, but this can get a lot nicer. Look at that cute little plate coral. You got a smaller tank, maybe you have a Fluval Evo, an Innovative Marine Fusion 15, maybe a water box 10, and you're looking for something tiny. Because in small tanks, you know, a large plate coral, you're not gonna be able to put a big one. You might make a nice little addition right about there. So Indophilia, man, these are just incredible. These are the ones that just came in the other day. Maybe you saw the video I was unpacking with my buddy Alejandro. Just spectacular, check this one out. Just perfect. Some funky frog spawn with some cool green base. More froggy, man the acro. Usually I don't keep any in this tank. This is sort of our low light tank, but we're completely out of space over there on our, that's what we call T1, tank one, SPS tank, acro dominated. So I'd have to put a bunch of them over here onto this side. That's a funky elegance, look at this one. It's actually blue. Really cool piece. Got some green sign area, open brain. I have another shipment coming actually. Still a ton of recordia, and if you want to know how to keep them, I just did a spotlight coral video just on these, highlighting them and giving all the tips and tricks and information that you would ever need to keep any of those in your tank. A little update here we had one of our fish tanks leak. Um, not super bad, but not super little either. I think it's coming from the corner. So I had to drain it. Uh, it's a little bit of a pain in the butt. The way that I have it built in, I'm gonna have to, I don't know yet. I'm gonna try and just silicone it and hopefully that works, but I can see under here, or maybe you can see under here. Oh, look at that. Actually, this is good with the camera. Lots of salt. It was dripping down, not good. But luckily, I just lifted all the power off the floor. We had power bars down there on the floor. Now they're all, you know what? That's two, that's two leaks. I'm one lucky ducky. Also under here, we had a, a skimmer go buck wild. It used to be there. 
And all of these power bars that you see mounted up high were sitting right here. And in the last couple of weeks, there was those big fires in the States. Some of the, some really big stores burned down. And I went sort of on this like crazy spree around the store, just organizing all the wires. And it just happened that this had water all over and that had water all over and I have very good timing and I'm a very lucky boy. Okay, let me show you some of the frags because I don't think the frags ever get enough attention sort of in the store. We talk so much about the colonies and those two tanks, but this is really the bread and butter. I always say this is what pays um, the rent, my mortgage at home, Tia's income, the dog's food. Where are you? That's how you eat. He doesn't care. Okay, right in here, 10, 15, 25, 30, 40. We have gobstoppers coming out the gobstoppers right now. So many of them. So they're on special. I think we have them like 60 or 70% off. These are really cool. We don't have frags of these too often. I'm just going to point out some of the ones that really catch my eye. The Pagoda Cup Coral. Oh yeah, Tia just took home one of these. Please don't mind my gimbal. Golden Mushrooms, Rhodactus. Those are pretty funky. They almost have a blue sort of undertone as well. Lots of different types of flower pots. And our clownfish thinks that they are an enemy. Hello, Steve. Yes, you know what? You can just do whatever you want because you're the oldest fish in the store and you're our mascot and we love you dearly. So you can fuck up all the flower pots you want, okay? Yeah, exactly. Make sure you get that Alvi right there. You almost missed it. Yeah, 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 right there. Squish it with your fat ass. Oh, yeah, yeah, he can hear me. Look at him go. Lovely. Okay, sorry, I'm getting carried away. Let me show you what 25 Canadian dollars gets you, or maybe 30. That's a better better uh, indication here. Some favia, watermelon favia. This funky mushroom, or maybe you could take home some favi, favites, war coral, some funky zoas. Some people may even call these, hey, how's it going? Lots of different varieties, some reds, oranges, pinks. I think that's a yuma. Whoa. Did you see this thing? Little baby Yuma's in here? Yeah, um, I did see it. Wow, why is it here? I'm gonna move it. All right, I have not kept a coral from this shipment. Ooh, before we do that, a funky new style of green star polyp. Look at these, they get really long. I'm calling them green spaghetti star polyps. Cause they're green and they look like spaghetti. That's how that happened. Okay, I wanna keep one piece. I try to limit myself from every shipment. But if there's one, hmm, Tia, what do you think? What goes in the display? I haven't kept an elegance in a very long time. Um, this one. I was looking at the blue. No, I love that one. I also don't have any torch. Lobos? I haven't, I haven't kept a Lobo. Yeah, Lobo would be nice too. Hmm. Really nice. Which one? It's a good amount of space still. Really that one's been talking to me for a while. Also 97. 97? Yeah. Damn, it's hard to decide. Oh, 97 is cool. Wish I could somehow do a live stream, but with this camera. Hmm, you know what? I think everyone says listen to Tia. So you know what? I'm going to listen to Tia. I'm going with this. I'm going with number. It's going to look like the one I have at home. Let's go. Don't be jealous. I know it's hard watching me. Just go there. Pick all the corals. Pick whatever I want. Add it to my tank. It's one of the one of the perks of having a shop like this. Okay, where am I going to stick it? I don't know yet. So I'm going to put it on the sand bed, along with these other ones. This is going to be part of one of those um, coral placement videos. So all of these new additions, and you can stay tuned for that one. I don't know when it's going to come out, but there's still a lot of room. Still a lot of rock. New fish edition, man, they're looking so good. The orange back fairy wrasse, the blue tang, hmm, it's got something on his head. But I think, oh, what the fudge me. Okay, you know what? I'll save this for a topic of discussion next time. Look at my tortusa. What the fudge sickles? <gasps> Damn, he was not that color. Okay, that's a good time to wrap up. Say hi to our new fish over here. Thank you, Mr. Molson, who brought him in. Beautiful fish. Please tell me what it is. Comment if you guys know that wrasse, the one I'm following. Right there. See that guy? That monster fish. Beautiful. And we'll see you guys back here on the next episode of Fragbox TV. Bye for now. If you saw anything in the video and you want it, you can always screenshot and send me an email. Bye-bye.